Okay guys, what is going on? It is Zippy, and welcome back to another video. Now, uh, I am back with, as you can see, the gaming stuff, but um, my computer's still broken, so forgive me if it lag if I lag out a bit, so uh, it's just a bit, uh, forgive me if I'm a bit behind. Anyway, today by the title, as you can probably tell, <laughs> it is going to be the most shocking transfers of the summer so far. Um, now... These are all done deals, and there uh, might still be more to come. <clears throat> so this isn't for all of 2016 so far. I'll probably do another one of these at the end of the transfer window. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> so anyway, so we're going to get straight into the team without any wasting time. And straight into it, we have Steve Mandanda. Now, Mandanda was at Marseille last season, and uh, was their best keeper... Uh, was always starting, and now he's gone to Crystal Palace uh, on a free. So, like, I mean, great deal for great dealing for Crystal Palace. Well done to them because that'll be a great signing. That'll do, that it'll do well for them, I think. But um, the problem I have is more the fact. That, oh wait, what? Why has it gone to? Have I accidentally pressed the button? I have. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Uh, yeah. So there you go. Uh, he has gone to Palace, obviously, and uh, it was surprising. I think he probably would have been better off at a bigger club like Everton, but, you know, uh, well done to Palace, and that'll he'll do well for them next season, I think. Anyway, on to the second one. Uh, Chris Hummels. Not Chris Hummels. What am I on about? Chris Hummels. I mean, what? Why? Why? Uh, no, Matt Hummels, Matt. Um, I'm afraid. Yeah, he, um, one of the best defenders in the world for me, and, uh, he has moved back to Bayern Munich. Yes, you heard me right. Back to Bayern Munich. Um, he started his career off there. He was a, he was a youth player in Bayern's ranks, in Bayern's youth ranks, and, uh, then got sold to Dortmund, and, uh, you know, there he's obviously become one of the best defenders in the world, so he's gone back to Bayern. So, um... We'll see how that works for him. He's already been established in the Bundesliga, but whether he'll actually perform for Bayern or not is a completely different thing. Uh, but, you know, anyway. So, on to the second one. Uh, oh, hold on. I don't know what I've done. Let's, okay, so on to the next one, then. Um, and it's Martin Skirtle. Now, this... I don't know whether you guys uh, know about this, but there are a few people that do. Uh, but he has gone to Fenerbahce. Uh, for around five mil, I think it was. Um, so it, it's that's interesting. I didn't, I didn't actually think he'd leave Liverpool. That's why, to me, it, it's kind of shocking. And um, that was kind of the same with uh, you know Mandanda and Hummels. I didn't actually think they'd go to those specific clubs and leave their specific clubs. But yeah, um, <clears throat> that is a l very interesting one for Fenerbahce, uh because he's not been the best. In previous years, obviously, so, um, yeah, there's that, um, and then, you know, I guess we'll find out, though, anyway, now, this one is more funny than shocking, and you Blackpool fans will know what I'm on about here, but, oh, good lord, Colin Doyle, the Irish goalkeeper, went from Blackpool to Bradford for a quid, one pound, like nine, a hundred pence. How? What? Who? Who sells their player? Who sells one of their players for a quid? That that's not a genuine joke. That is literal. That is literal. That must be some sort of record, surely. I mean, that is absolutely crazy to think that Colin that that's gone and happened. I mean, Brighton. I mean, Bradford. Sorry, have lost absolutely nothing. In buying Colin Doyle. And, like, that, that, it's fucking nuts, isn't it? But, hey. Well, that might be a good sign on, I don't know. I guess we'll find out, though. And uh, going on to the right midfield, Mikatarian. Well, oof, I never thought he'd. I didn't think he'd leave Borussia Dortmund this summer. <laughs> to go to United, especially. But, oh my god, he has. And uh, that's something I look forward to seeing, actually. Um, and I, I think, I, I don't know how he'll do, but he's he's a quick player, he's good at dribbling. I think he he might do well in the Premier League, I think, Mkhitaryan. And, um, well, let's see what, I think it was around 26 mil he went for. 
I think that's how much uh, United bought him for. So well done to them. That might be, might be a good signing. Uh, Ilke Ilke Gundogan, right? Uh, he has obviously, as you can see there, gone to Manchester City. Uh, I can't remember how much it was for though. I didn't actually look at that. Um, I don't know my phone. I don't know my phone's gone, and I can't really look on my computer, can I? But yeah, uh, he went to Man City, which again, you know, I didn't think he'd leave Borussia Dortmund either. I thought he'd be. I thought he'd stay there, but uh, obviously, I've been proven wrong. So I'm not gonna make any sort of complaints. But uh, I actually look forward to seeing him in the Prem next year and seeing how he does. Because he, he might actually end up doing really, really well. Um, so, yeah, that, that's, let's see what happens with him, though. And then, uh, now, he doesn't actually have a card for this. But N'Golo Kante has gone to Chelsea for about £32 million. And, uh, uh, what the fuck? I didn't... I get, okay, so... Some of you might disagree with me on this, and I've, I know I've said this so many times in this video, and it's getting a bit ridiculous now, but I didn't think he'd leave Leicester, I, if I'm being perfectly honest. I, I actually didn't think he'd leave. Um, so, yeah, but he, you know, he's had a brilliant season with Leicester. You know, he won the title with them, and he'll look to do the same with Chelsea, like, you know, bring them back up to what they used to be. Um, so I look forward to seeing how he does, actually. Because with the, because he's already established in the Prem, but whether he'll work well under Chelsea's manager, um, we will see. <coughs> Sorry, I got a bit of, bit of a cough. Um, so then on to here, Jordan Ibe, uh, has as you can see there. Uh, I think he, I think he's gone to. I don't know whether he's gone to. I can't remember actually. <laughs> You'll have to give me a sec. One sec. If I go and do this and look for him. Because uh, I actually don't remember how much he got sold for. And uh, I kind of want to find out. See, so, yeah, Jordan Ibe... So let's go. Concert. Let's just see. So ah, right now he uh, did he play for Bournemouth or Liverpool? I think he played for. Yeah, no, he played for Liverpool and he's gone to Bournemouth, I think, or the other way around. I'm not too sure, but uh, either way, he's gone to one of those clubs, and you know that'll be an interesting one. Um, I mean, I've, like, so let's see how he does next year, and uh, on to the wing, on to the front three then. Um, and Hulk is the first one to come into play here, and um, it's a, it's certainly an interesting one. Uh, no lies told, um, because uh, Hulk has in fact left Zenit Saint Petersburg and gone to I think it, I think it, where did he go Shanghai I think. Uh, he's joined a lot of big time football players and gone to China. Uh, Ramirez did that as well. I think that was why Chelsea wanted uh, got Kante, but you know, um, but we'll see how he does. I mean, I've I'm actually really surprised because a lot of big players have gone to like a load loads of teams in China. So, but I guess we'll find out how that works for him. I mean, it it might work well because I mean, in all fairness to him, the um, other league, the um, Russian league, isn't really that hard. The best team in it are really Saint Petersburg, um, so I think he'll probably do well in the Chinese league next year. Um, but then again, we'll see. I might be wrong. Uh, on to the left wing. Then I'm going to come to the striker in a minute, and it's Nolito. Now he left Celta Vigo to go to Manchester City. Now I say that's a good signing, personally, because um, he's he's a, he's a great player, Nolito. Uh, I did have him at one point, and he, he is a very good player. Um, not the quickest in the world, but then again, who is? Um, so, yeah, but I think going to City was a, a pretty good move for him. Although, it was a bit surprising. I was a bit surprised when I read that he was uh, moving to to Manchester City in the Premier League. And I look forward to it. I No lies told. I do look forward to seeing 
to seeing how well he does in the prem because he might he might do really really well for all we know. Um, but that's a good signing from that's two good signings from Pep in this. So uh, creds man, credit. Um, I might I don't know I might be might have got something then but anyway. Um, so the last player I mean did you really think I wasn't going to include this? I mean. Manchester United signed Ebra on a free, for God's sake. I mean, <clears throat> how do you get Ebra on a free? I mean, they signed him on his contract with, um... Who was it? It was, uh... PSG. Um... Um... It was when PSG... His contract ran... So yeah, like when he went when he left PSG, um, that is a that is a very good bit of business from Man United. That is a great signing. Um, um, there are a lot of people saying he won't do well in the Prem. You know, and players rarely do in their first season. In all fairness, but they're also saying that you know he's not established enough. Um, and people are saying the same thing about Pogba. I don't know. I mean, I think we should wait and see how well they actually do. Um. But Pogba hasn't officially been signed, although a, a bid was sent through uh, for about 84 mil from United, 84, 85, and it got rejected, and apparently they've sent another one through about 105, and Juve wanted 100 plus for it, 100 mil plus for him, so that might end up being in this if it uh, comes to it at the end of the transfer window in FIFA 17. Uh, anyway, guys... Um, that will have to be the end of the video. Uh, that is the team of the most of what I believe are the most shocking transfers uh, of this transfer window. Anyway, guys, uh, I am gonna have to, I'm gonna go. I will see you. Okay, guys. So I will see you all later. Thank you for watching. If you could smash a like and uh, hit the subscribe button as well, that'd be much appreciated. I thank you guys for watching, and as ever, I will see you all.